Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I'm coming to you from the Philippines and I want to talk about my biggest fear. Okay, so today I'm coming to you one more time from the beach in the Philippines or from the La Luz Beach Resort in the Philippines. I'm about to check out and make the long drive down to Manila. Well, I'm not driving myself, you know, I'm being driven, but it's like three hours away and staying at the Holiday Inn near the airport. And I was gonna do it from there, but I thought, nah, we gotta take advantage of this backdrop one more time. We might not have another scene like this, so let's do the video from here. And tomorrow I'll be traveling all day going back to the UK. So I don't want to submit you guys to another um, airport video where I'm all tired and you know constipated and all this kind of stuff from traveling for all those hours. So we'll just we'll pre-record this one today uh, from here. So today I want to talk a little bit about my biggest fear when it comes to overpass. Now sometimes you guys will talk about how you know there's not a lot of views on this channel. Today, that's going to work to my advantage because I probably wouldn't admit this kind of stuff if there were a lot of views. So, years ago, my dad had said something to me. He said that, you know, I was talking about my, my insecurities on a project uh, years ago or it's, it was in like a business situation. And I said, God, you know, if, if they knew how little I knew about this, you know, they would be concerned, right? And he said, he said something because, we all have, he told me that we all have these fears that if other people knew what was in our heads, they would have less respect for us. But we all have these insecurities. So I thought today I will talk about some of the, one of, one of the biggest insecurities that I have. And it's usually around self-confidence. Now when it comes to overpass, I've always believed that we can make this work. I've always believed that, you know, if I just keep battering at these walls, either if I keep battering at these walls they will give through every failure through every disappointment just keep at it you know this you know it, it's not over till I say it's over but my my big fear with it is that not that the idea won't work not that the concepts won't work is that I'm not the person to do it that maybe I lack the confidence to do it and a lot of what I do each day is try to build confidence right so if you've ever worked in a corporate environment you know I, for me you, you see like like the senior managers a lot of the times are the tallest most handsome people I, it, it, I don't know why but it just is you know, you think these kind of things shouldn't matter but you know so the tallest most confident and they speak in their deep voices and, and they use business speak like you know first of all we must ascertain the objectives of the project and all this kind of stuff and sometimes I feel like when I go meet with clients and stuff I should be that way I should talk that way and so yeah so you know, when I go into to business situations, especially when I first started working with clients, my big fear was not that I didn't know the code. I was 100% confident in the code. My ability with the code, you know, I was just fine. You know, and, you know, but my, my, my fear was that they would find out that I was not the businessman that I should be. You know, like they would see that I didn't know how to do such and such, or maybe I didn't wear a tie correctly, or maybe, maybe I didn't speak in a deep enough voice, right? So <laughs> a lot of that stuff does. Right. Sometimes in the office, when I'm filming in the office, you'll see in the background there's a poster on the wall, a Jim Rohn quote that says, "In order to have more, you have to be more." Right. And it's something that resonated with me because I thought a lot of the times we focus on the idea, we focus on the concept, but we it's the a lot of times it's the person behind it who's driving it who makes it work. You know, over the years, I'm always trying to improve myself, always trying to improve myself in terms of what I can do with the confidence I have, uh, with the training. I'm, I read so many self-help books. I read so many, you know, not not just code. I mean, I, I you know what? I think I consider code coding books to be self-help books because, dude, man, they've helped me. But it just, I mean, the normal self-help books, all the things. I mean, I, I read, I still read about one a week, you know. I. I I might not implement as well as I as I should, but a lot of things they come out of that, and um, and it is it is one of the fears, right? It's it's 
we've had a lot of clients so far. We're getting better all the time. Like I said, we're gonna keep battering at the walls until either, until we can't batter anymore or until they give, you know, and uh, you know, and I'm gonna become the person that I need to become. But in order for me to do it, I have to realize where I'm lacking. Yesterday I talked about the fact that I'm a bad manager. There's other ways that, you know, there's other things that I need to prove about myself and, and I'm always working on them. So anyway, so that's my big fear. And I'm hoping I'm not alone in that uh, with a lot of things. In fact, when people come to me with app ideas, they, you want to say like, this app idea is going to be huge. I'm gonna, we're going to be billionaires. We'll go half and half on it. A lot of times it's not the idea that I'm looking at. It's the person. And again, this is one of the reasons I don't partner with people is because it's it, the right person has to be, be able to get behind that and push it and make it work. Uh, the, the idea itself is nothing. You, know, you, give the, you give the perfect idea to someone who doesn't have the, doesn't have the means to execute on it, then it's worthless. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed a lot of the videos, or at least a lot of the backdrops over the last week, a week and a half or whatever it's been. And uh, you know, tomorrow, so the next time I come to you, tomorrow's video should be from the UK. And then the work starts. So that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow.